Welcome to Calawegian Fly Fishing with Robert Smart. Now, here's Robert. Greetings. Now, in this video, I ran across a fly uh, called the Cree Killer. Now, it was tied by a gentleman by the name of George McGrath. Saw him on Facebook in the... Uh, uh, one of the fly tying community channels or groups. Uh, very interesting looking fly for trout. So I contacted George and asked permission to tie it and make a video of it. And he graciously gave his permission. Uh, he swears by this fly and says if they're hitting the surface, they'll hit this fly. Um, and it attracted my attention. I thought, well, he might be right. So I tied up a couple and made this video. And uh, I will put a link to George's YouTube channel in the description. Uh, well worth visiting. Uh, he's really a good fly tire. He's been around for a while. Uh, so anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. This is a very interesting fly. So here we go. We're going to tie the Cree Killer. Okay, we're going to tie this Cree Killer. I've already got my base set. I'm going to use some of this Corte de Leon. Hackle barbs. For the tail. Tie them on top. like that okay now we're going to take some wine colored wire and tie that on Okay, next I'm going to take some fairly light deer hair. Put that in my stacker. that fairly even. We start with some loose wraps and we start getting them tighter and tighter, 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 tighter. trim them off. Now when George did this he cut that deer hair with his thread. I've got 140 thread and I've tried it. Kept breaking my thread so I couldn't do it. Now we'll build up a dam in front of that deer hair. Help it stand up. Okay, next. Bring that wine colored wire forward something like that okay got 
got one tail sticking up. I don't like that. Get rid of it. A couple more in front on that dam. Okay. Next, I'm going to take some of these Cree feathers. Things ain't cheap. But they're real long so I can get multiple flies out of one feather. It's like a hundred feathers for like 35 bucks. Tie that on. Bring that thread back behind. Okay, now for the thorax. We'll take some wine colored dubbing. You got some stragglers there on the deer hair and get rid of them. George was pretty adamant about using this wine. I'm going to take his word for it. Couple wraps behind, couple wraps in front. Okay. Take this Cree hackle. Take a few wraps here right in the front. Crowded my eye a little bit. Tie that off. Okay. Then we're going to whip finish. Okay, now the last step, got some dubbing stragglers here, is to cut off that hackle on the bottom. Found that kind of interesting.
Yeah. Somebody's got it. A few. Yeah. There we have it. The Cree Killer. George McGrath says they always hit it if they're hitting the surface. So we'll see. Pretty cool looking fly though. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please subscribe.